We jump start with the spirituality aspects of things okay so one thing about spirituality this is how we usually start the show and also the importance of spirituality okay so we start with the gumboa okay gumboa is not only we got the service that we are dealing with gumboa right now but we need to talk about the importance of gumboa and what is gumboa and as we all know spirituality is the engine of our future the engine of the next day or the engine of what we will become or the engine of the next cycle of what humanity becomes so therefore this physical flesh is a mere reality to the truth that's conspiring to the spiritual world so therefore when you said gumboa into voodoo into spirituality it doesn't have to be voodoo if you despise voodoo or if you don't understand because voodoo it's a it's a complex tradition it's a complex science okay so we call it voodoo because that's the term that most people is identified with it for or is the term that into this today's society they they make it you know the the that's the name of the culture of pop cultures of today and before that you know the indigenous call it different names but um as we know we call it ginam gine that's where the term gine come Pitam Ginam, this is where the indigenous used to call it. So this is a tradition dealing with the science of nature. This is when men and nature become one. So therefore, every religion and every civilization in the ancient past always show you the connection with the tree because we represent aspects of the tree. Our body grows as a tree and we know we come from the tree because humans is a representation from the tree. As you see the, uh, the placenta from a woman, it look exactly like a tree our hair as original people grows like trees okay so you know all your vein inside of your body is eventually a form of a tree branches and all that the trunks and all that so this is a part of us i'm gonna blow this picture so you kind of see um a little bit more about the tree okay so this picture here if you notice this is the ancient egyptians and you saw the connection with the tree because spirituality comes from trees and a lot of time and most of the time people don't I mean people that know the importance of tree will be in opposition with the tree specifically because they know tree governs our existence not only they are contributing to our oxygen level but in the spiritual world they contribute the most than anything else because the tree is an antenna okay this is why they build anything you dealing with dish satellite dish including um, um antennas or now they dealing with towers it's all mimicking what tree doing so anything we do as technology is a second hand to what nature has already done and produced so they just trying to do replicate nature into the uh non-organic way so the trees is playing a major role into our consciousness because they are the one emitting the frequency into the world most of our i repeat 99 percent of all of our inspiration is eventually breathed back to us by the tree so your inspiration when you sit down somewhere and for some reason you just feel like you're getting inspired or something across your mind it's pretty much what you call that wi-fi signal this is the natural wi-fi producing by the trees every thought pattern is connected just why the tree producing the oxygen is the same thing when we breathe this oxygen and we release it back to nature it goes by the tree the tree collected them okay so all the tree branches and all the trees angles and antennas is pretty much a huge what you call um network this is your our human satellite system so the trees is a satellite system emitting thought pattern back to one another and these thought pattern is also there's a lot of things in nature that's communicate straight to the trees like a lot of insect a lot of animals producing thought pattern that the tree itself collected and also the trees are alive they are living beings they are living entities 
and other tree communicate with other trees themselves and they are sending these signals back to us in the form of oxygen once we breathe these oxygen this is where thought patterns start to come this is when your inspiration comes is after you start breathing but you don't pay attention to that as you breathe you start to think and as you think these are the communication systems sent to us back by the trees itself so this is why every ancient civilization from egypt from here into the america they all venerate the trees themselves and now as we call and people call the pagan tradition as you call today they also venerate the trees as a form of christmas this is why they told you the christmas trees and all that they are trying to rebrand what our ancestor did before and they rebrand it and sell it to you back in a new ways of doing it but nevertheless this is the importance of how the trees is important here and now in movies one of the most important movies and this movie also always break record and i always tell people anything that has to do with spirituality in the movies the movie always gonna thrive because spiritual aspect in the movies is involved in there so this is why certain movies thrive more than the others because certain movies are strictly spiritual so therefore it's gonna play a major role on people's sight because they are dealing with serious spirituality down the line and it's avatar as we all know about avatar we all know the navi that's how they call these folks they were dealing with the trees and the trees was everything about them okay so they call it Ewa. so there's different names if i said it wrong you correct me even in, in the new avatar the same thing now they go underwater so avatars is just a hundred percent about voodoo it's a hundred percent story about voodoo and everything and the avatar themselves they are playing the scene bees in the next one and then the other side of them they are play, playing the indigenous people or we call the Hawak and the Tainos. So this is why they picked Zozalda and Zeldana to play because she is Haitians and Dominican bloodline. So therefore they're not stupid. They pick people from the bloodline to play that. And the, the first avatar was strictly about the Haitian revolution itself. When the outsiders set foot in the indigenous land and they're just trying to rip everything apart to try to enforce themselves and use um, the, the rare minerals that was out there on, underneath of the soil so all of that so we already know it those people that know about that know exactly what the story what, what side of the story that this movie was eventually going for so as we talk about Gumbwa itself as we all know this is the attack the first attack on the soil of the indigenous land we call it IET because IET was the first land eventually they attack as the what we call the first world war so the first world war happens in IT and the first attack was happened first with spiritual attack and anything about spirituality and you always know it even we watch a lot of movies in some region in Europe in Africa this is one thing that they always know when it comes to spirituality trees this is why they always attack trees. they burn them and they cut them down is here in America you will know that they cut down billions and billions of trees by now since then to now and one of the tree that was very important into the Haitian people and the indigenous people to be exact is a, is, is a tree called Pie Mapufo. If all Haitians here, Haitian and uh, my people here, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Pie Mapu is a very important tree and this is the sacred tree and it's huge and it's, it's, it's that's why they I mean if you watch the avatar this is what they was mimicking the avatar after and the church um, actually signed tree to cut down these trees and not only these trees are huge they are important in water see a lot of time people don't understand the contribution to waters as all tree also so whereas a lot of big trees that mean is very that's a lot of water underneath of it so tree is sacred to us without trees then you know we eventually in trouble to the ecosystem so big time big time trees is, is everything about our life not only oxygen and water so therefore they was attacking the tree in the forest they were burning them they was cutting them down and this is they understand a lot of our ancestors once they die also because again they are frequency and then to voodoo all, all spirit lives in trees okay this is why once we perform certain ceremony we put certain food hanging on certain tree branches because we know certain spirit dwell in there that's why they call it the gumboa so trees is very 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 important and they was cutting them down so every time you see a civilization or a nation having some sort of an erosion where they, they cutting down trees for energy just know they're going to be depleted with spirituality themselves because trees should not be cut down at all matter of fact we should plant more trees and deal with trees because they are the one that keep us sane mentally this is why most people that, that suffer mental illness 
and some sort of depression is because they're not around organic trees because you know see when you see like large cities they have a bunch of like um, artificial trees that have been planted these trees couldn't help you mentally because a lot of time depression is because you're not receiving the proper signal within your mind because you stuck within your own conceptions within your own perceptions of whatever hurting you mentally whatever you're not pretty much healed from and what tree does if it's there if it's organic trees they collect because tree they are pretty much what you call a, um it's like a mother nature it's a part see when you said mother nature the tree is one of the major ecosystem part of that mother nature the tree will provide you with the necessary aspect of your thought pattern that means they'll give you a different outlook because i told you it's like a satellite so it can broadcast a different mindset for you so you don't be trapped within your own whatever you're going through in your life with whatever trauma you're going through the tree can shift these traumas that's why it's important if you as a person that to spend time around trees go look for one it's very very important this tree can do that so that's why a large city is plagued with psychopath and it's plagued with people that's not healing from traumas because they don't have organic trees around them so very very important you understand the importance of the tree moving down the line so now um, I'm going to talk about itself. This was just the tree part. Now I'm going to show you um, in Kai P4 itself. This is our habitations in IT. This is where our spiritual antennas is dwell. Because again, an habitation, when they said habitation, it's eventually a form of a dweller. Like where your energy power sources is related. Okay, it's located to be exact. Okay. So when you deal with spirituality, and just like anything else you have in technology, if you're using a phone, you know you gotta have battery behind it, okay? So on the other phone is cordless, but nevertheless, you gotta have a central area where it's charged or where the energy coming from. This is the same thing when you deal with spirituality and Buddha itself, because when you deal with that, you gotta have a home, a home where the energy is broadcasting. Just so like, you know, we here in the United States, but we have an antenna or a satellite just here it's the same thing we do with technology we send balloon satellite in space including underground cable for internet but better yet they are not here in the state in the united states they are broadcasting somewhere else so in long distance but they project what we are what we want as signal to the united states itself for the broadcast system or the internet system to work so it's the same thing with voodoo we here in the united states but in the home what we call kai p4 is the satellite this is where all the energy from the spirit located and it sent the location it sent the signal to us here so everybody that participate all the time in the service you understand what we are talking about here so one thing about gumboa okay so if you've been watching mumble for a while before i was getting into the scene because I, I was going behind the camera shooting all these video we couldn't do both like that so remember that's one of the video when she was in Haiti, she sat down with one of this huge thing that call like we call this gum white itself. It's a nest. It's, it's a huge. Not only is a phenomenon, you don't see that with any other place. And I always tell people, gum white is a rare spirit. You don't find the spirit anywhere else unless you are truly, truly chosen by the true forces. I always tell people, like people that that's practitioner a lot of time, most of the time to be exact, they always been given things. See, where's one thing for human to give you? And there's another thing for nature to give you, I repeat. There's one thing for human to give you, and there's another thing for nature to give you. Only nature can give you when it comes to voodoo. And this is why I insist to worship nature, because only nature can give them, not what men gave you. A Bible is a man-made, okay? Uh, um, different other things is man-made, but a kujwa is from the tree itself. So it's the essence of the tree that created for you and you got to be worried because you don't see that anywhere else so once you saw an habitation have that just know the true spirit dwell in there see the only thing you find mostly in these so-called bulk or organs of today houses is nothing but freaking skull and these skull is is pretty much humans that used to be alive there's no longer and that is not a law always there's a strong difference between uh, a job and a law a law is nature. This is why they call law. That means it's nature that's going to decide the outcome of the human race within its own cells. Because we all live in cells inside of a huge organism we call nature. But in today's voodoo, all you see most of the time is called because they don't have no connection with nature. So all they have now, they pull in their job. But job is not a law. It's the spirit of a human 
Now they're going to use that spirit to do work for them. And this is why most, this is why IT is plunging into chaos right now because the law is not involved. There's nothing but human involved with human in the physical aspect. So therefore, whatever trauma that spirit went through, that's why all they do right now is a lot of gang violence. There's a lot of people hating each other right now. It's because this is not the divine working. This is not nature working. It's human working. So whatever trauma that spirit went through is going to take it back to the next human that's alive. So it's not really divine intervention whatsoever. So that's the strong, important part that you need to understand when it comes to that. So make me a way. Okay. Peace and blessings, family. You're on the screen. Cry. Laughing <laughs> and okay. all that good shit. Scream, laugh, and cry. Talk show. Yes, indeed. This is Mambo Hathor Erzin Biakanan, a.k.a. the Voodoo Diva. And peace and blessings to everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As we close out Women's Month, I want to give a special shout out and celebration to all of my women. All of the empowerment, all of the struggles, all of the ups and downs, the divine feminine essence, the power that is you. I, from one queen to another, from one goddess to another, salute you, my sisters, mothers those who have been mothers to even those that are not theirs personally, okay? Nourishing yourself, nourishing your past traumas with the feminine aspects of either your mother or grandmothers, breaking generational cycles and traumas, all of the power and work that you're doing within the divinity of your spiritual walk and path of life at the moment is valid, is important, is beautiful. One month could never, ever do us justice. But just to say, since this is the month they recognize Women's Month, I just want to let everybody know, my sisters, my goddesses, my queens, my empresses, I, Mambo Hatha Ursula Akhenaten, salute you. You are the fruit. You are what makes it happen. The powerful womb and portal that you have is something so sacred, whether you gifted life or not. The creativity that you bring, what you are in a family household, the signature of being a mother, the world can never take away from us. So I just wanted to give a real special shout out. I'm not sure if I said it in other lives before, but as we're on the last, very last day, of women's month okay and if you follow me on facebook you follow me you know most likely facebook then you know i've posted about it many a times and just i always it's always a big celebration to me um but again one month is never enough so i and much love to the fierceness of what we call the divine sacred feminine you are loved over here always and forever Okay, right. so not to interrupt, but um, I know that we were talking about Gumbwa, hence the reason I'm on my all green and earthy tones, because I'm feeling that Gumbwa energy right now. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's such a vibe. So thank you to everybody that gave Brother Hebo a shout out for his birthday. And uh, I know he was giving you guys some beautiful jewels on Gumbwa, so I'm not really interrupting, but I just wanted to say yes. One of the most amazing things I have ever experienced in my two eyes in my human life so far was being able to see Gumbwa in a physical matter. No, it didn't manifest on a person where, where he came through like that. That happened too, but before that even happened, he was in his element. You know, you hear things. You hear things a lot out there, right? And mind you, these were in my young tender days in initiating and doing certain things, being in sacred ground at the temple of Kaipi Fall. So to be able to have seen that with my own two eyes, and I know to this day, people have actually um, initiated, done certain things, and they've ha never had the privilege, I should say, truly, to see a kushwa and to see one in the size and magnitude. Seeing it is one. If you're lucky, it's usually about maybe this big. Maybe maybe just about that big. It's a little, little. Yes. There is a gigantic. It's bigger than me and Brother Hebrew head put together. And I kid you fucking not. Yeah, and I've seen pictures it, it, before. It's side. huge. It's yeah, huge. it'll take probably four. The whole table. I, we're going to do a segment outside of this where we're going to post up about speaking on Glum. Why not to interrupt anything? But um, I'll definitely have pictures. And we always do. But I just say this because... When we say indigenous voodoo, I need you to really under, understand that indigenous meaning is that it's ancient, it's been around for a long time, way before me, way before Brother Hebrew, way before any of that. And even elders, when they was babies, gave us stories 
at the temple about how that was and how it even came about and how it just kept growing and growing and growing. So when Gumwa comes around and says, it's time for a service, you better be so lucky because I can guarantee you right now, anybody online that I can bet money on this right now, they don't have that. None of them can produce a picture to you of a kushwa. I bet money they right now that. on the table. Come at me and ask me questions. I now. dare any Ugin and Mumbo that here right now. Show Coco me. Included, I don't care who I don't it is. Care who are you? They can't provide include, a picture. I can't you even you provide a video recording you could of ever seeing it. Show it to me. Show me the gift of nature to you. Bruh, I, I say all like that to, to say that Global Eyes are really sacred. No, we're just saying it's, it's the rare. forest and the foundation of where all the Loa reside. That's the hotel. That's their resting place. It's where they congregate together to make real big monumental shit happen. Hence why it's so connected to nature and the element of earth. Okay, it directly correlates with mother, with the principle of Mother Earth. So when a candle is lit, because when we do our thing at Kai before, a candle for you, you, you're able at that moment to have a candle lit for you on top of that. This is something we're talking about that's over 80 years old. It's over 80 years old and it's still there and growing never bigger and bigger. This is, it has never this broken. This is something that science itself should... It's I'm telling shit. you, this is a wonder, y'all. This yo. shit is I'm crazy. Serious, like. But in my two eyes, I've never seen something. I've been to other houses even, okay? Being invited to other things in IET, etc. And I've never... And I mean never to seen me. it. I seen one tiny one because it was in the same area as where we our temple is out there. A tiny, a, a smaller one. And it happened to be relative to the, 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 the temple. So it made sense. It was something within that indigenous bloodline. The shit is crazy. All I could say is, is that that's one of the most amazing things that in my two eyes of my living time of being a priestess that I've ever got to touch feel interact with um and see like that right there was a big honor so i always really get excited when god bless sev he's coming around it's one of, one of the bro, like to me was very yeah. fascinated is the crown that thing create a crown yes like oh like, my god I mean, so for uh, anybody <laughs> from the beginning that had been with us in the beginning there was a hurricane that took place back in um i think it was 2015 or 2014 actually right in iet in which there was a little there was an area of the temple at that time that had gotten some damage to it. So I did a GoFundMe to have people that were, you know, involved with me in different things at the time to be able to help restore and put it back on its feet. It was later than that. This is more like 2016. Cause I remember right around the time I had my fire, there was that going on simultaneously. It was a big year. There was a lot of energy and a lot of shit going on. So anyway, I say this because at the time when it happened, we went further down the line that, that following year, early in the year, since I can't remember 100%, but we went. And when the spirit came, because it was literally like there was an inauguration. After the parts that were built and everything, you know, we cleaned everything up. We were placing things as they were before, before anything happened in terms of like when the hurricane hit and all that stuff at that time. And everything was getting things in order, right? Email list, you got the email. God was service, right? It's the deadline is next week, Thursday, because we're going to make wind of the full moon energy also. And there's also a particular star called Chiron that's going to be coming in intersection with the sun, which is going to give way to a, a big opening gateway of healing. So healing, mental, spiritual, physical, we're talking about massive healing gateway is opening. Okay, so we're taking advantage of all of that to actually do this service. But anyway. A crown was created, and the crown still stays to this day. That crown is on top of that kushwa. This I mean, enormous kushwa, it's, right? It's just to show you how nature yep. built itself. Like, nature in us is one. Once you're in really harmony is. with it nature, really That's I just mean, crazy. this is wonders, yo. So, yep. I'm just going to go through these pictures right quick. This was just an avatar. As you see the destructions of the, the big trees and all that. So, this is the Piemapu. Yes. This is the this is tree. like, as you see, it's like one big vein that just connects with to Mother Earth. Nature. Yes. Yeah, so, beautiful. this is the tree they are outlawing Haiti right it's now beautiful. by the church. The church paid people to cut them down. So, this was the enemy of Napoleon. One of the, um, at, um, they was asking for money. One of the ransom for the France was to cut down these trees. So, they was going to different areas. And burned them and cut them down. And they call Yemapu. 
So this is a ceremony for this is a Kanzo. Kanzo mean when they do an initiation in certain Laku in certain places, they have to spend some time on underneath that tree. And what they don't understand for most people that don't understand this phenomenon with having a bunch of initiates doing circle around the trees is because they want the tree to harness their frequency. So this is a form of scanning each of these folks in here trying to get their DNA frequency signals so the tree can emit it into the atmosphere now, so it's so a form of identification it's so funny you said that today for all my those that subscribe to the email list well, hence why it's so important the um i sent out an activity to be done today in preparing us with this energy with Gumbwa. and what was it if you guys all remember i said a visualization meditation it's so crazy he said that because i don't even think you knew but it's exactly what i told i told them Imagine that you're in front of this big gigantic tree, but you're completely naked. You're to yourself and your back is up against the tree and you're literally becoming one in alignment with the energy. Okay. And that the energy of the tree is helping you release all the worry, the tension, the fear, the anxiety, the depression, the, the overthinking, the everything, because you're now literally infusing yourself and becoming one with the tree. And I gave you guys an emotional spiritual detox type of sound vibration i think it was 741 megahertz or whatever to really vibe with today so i don't know whoever did the activity but if you did i told you had all day as today to do it because it was a vibe that i got this morning i said boom let me give it to the people so that's just crazy you say that because again trees as we put our back towards them as we meditate under them as we put our feet on them and act like either we're climbing on them or we're Hug hugging the them they that all provides um, energy release it provides um, health reason and antioxidants with the breath that you're taking there is so much power in just being still or giving love to a tree one of the things I personally love to do is I like to put my um, reproductive organs like I like to put my lower sac my sacral and my root chakra as close to the tree up front as possible and stretch so that all of that pressure whatever's going on or I feel in the emotional energy of not feeling rooted or grounded I'm connecting my root chakra with it so it's something very very soothing to me actually I took nature pictures yesterday I shared it yesterday on my Facebook um, and that was the kind of vibes I was on so yeah the tree and the grounding energy so, is a must. It is a must. So anyway, you know, Gumbo Asabis is open, but but yeah, continue because because when I say a lot, yeah, there's a lot. Up. There's a lot. Gumbo is a so very sacred. This energy. is more like an antenna. So again, right. they are around it, so they can send the signal out right. there. So when they wherever they located in the world, that's their an antenna. They are building right there called Gumbo. And this is the same thing. This is Avatar once again. This is the same concept. Yeah. This is the trees, and they got the Navi yep. people in there, right. and they all gathering to receive the same frequency and for it to work in their favor. So this is it, right? That's why they picked the indigenous. They they've been trying to tell you this is the practice of the indigenous. They tell you the truth from the jump. From huh? the jump. So ain't no lying. They, I'm telling we in the we in the age of truth. Nothing is hidden but truth out there. So here's your proof again in that format. Now. I deliberately take these pictures step by step to show you the growth. So you oh, understand. Oh, wow. You're sharing this See, one? now understand. This is second Gumboa we have here. Whoa. I understand. almost forgot about that. We yes. have one, the big one with the crown. That was, that was, that was the, that, That's 80 years Original. old version. But this one grow Agreed. with us. Yeah, from scratch. Okay, this, this was just yeah, that shit was crazy. This was just born the moment Baron Criminal, because we have this video. If you saw it with the Baron Criminal video. Okay, so this one, Baron Criminal, yeah. I was mount with Baron Criminal. That was the video. And this is his house that they was building for him. But the house was not covered at that time. But right. he come in and place his shit. Pretty much they call it a juke. Okay? A juke mean this is where he put this energy. Stamp. So this is like, um, I, I want to call that, um, it's not just so much a stamp. What? The portal? To where um, you're yeah. Working? I think you can call it his portal. That yeah. means this is an environment that his energy going to dwell. So well, this is where if he's going to do work, that's the area. Oh, that's his yeah. workstation. But within the workstation, he's going to make sure that he have his power plant. So this is almost like a power plant to gather energy for his own work. Okay? So against what I always tell people, man, if you are Mambo and Nugan, true one, that's true Guinea. Because again, that's like you have those people that just join a, 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 an environment that's just only deal. They said they are Ugin Mambo, but in reality, they are necromancers. Okay? They work with spirit, not law. That means they work with 
people that used to live before and they're going to use these folks energy to do work there's a strong difference between guinea that work with nature and other people move ugin and mumbo of today working with spirit pretty much dead people this is why they always got nothing but bones and skulls around necromancy shit okay very important so you know and with this tree after baron criminal done left he did a juke this tree now it's been used as a power plant for the gumboa to be born because i always tell you that gumboa mean the energy harnessing of all the spirit this is where the spirit dwell if you don't have that if you don't show that that means you probably work with the spirit as a contractor understand a lot of mumbo and hogan make contract contractive deal industry like it's like a form like okay i'm dealing with the spirit as a contract because his grandmother or his great grandmother have a regular man regular man mean, mean a deal they make a deal and the deal might be two three generation down the line this is the spirit that's going to work with you but after the two three year generational spirit might leave you and gone okay so now if you have a gumboa at your crib or you or your habitation have a huge pma pool spirit dwell that they don't need contract this is a place just for the spirit itself no contract no spirit gonna leave the place no spirit just dwell there so with this this is when the the gumbo I start to born so this is just like the first area see the tree look like normal but right. it was growing look how small it is mm -hmm. okay now this is again you see the low cross you saw here with the uh, with the candle this is a juke that mean it was underneath of it it's buried with a uh, tons of magical shit the spirit make for his own self so if you who gonna hear my boy you know what a juke is so from the there workstation. the workstation I this is where the gumbo I start to be born as you see it look at the tree so now this is how it look now i want you to be pay attention you see um the paper underneath of it the paper this is a demand this is a work was done for someone that was in dire situation a petition a petition look at the paper and look how it gonna swallow the paper yo look that right now here? it keep growing see it's on top of a so this chopped is the same up tree. tree this is the same tree but a and different this angle it's growing from out of it Okay. This is not bees. This is not this is insects. Not bees. By the way, they call, you don't touch it. There's no insects. No, they in call that. Couche no, bois. It's a that means a living harnessing thing that eventually this is a life force of the tree itself. itself that create this from the outside. Okay. Yeah. Once it once it fall, cause it's gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Once it fall is complete. That means it get on its feet. It's a lie. Okay. Usually, when this fall is when there's no more tree because the tree is gonna start to be eaten up from the inside out and creating this. So it's to become a nest okay so this is how it start now look at how it's swallowing the paper you see how the paper was down and look how long how big look it how, become look how big much bigger it got as it was swallowing the paper too okay? at the same time so if you if you were to yeah. put this under a microscope or under infrared you see a lot of activity going on yeah. infrared you see a lot of shit moving in and out of too. it okay I, and it gave you many faces, faces if you can see yeah <laughs> okay so yeah. look at the look at the paper <laughs> swallow completely you see it yeah look at the paper and look how big it become see if you could could you zoom that because yo literally if you go close you can see the paper literally not almost completely in yeah in i mean there's a little piece of the paper only yo. hanging out mind you we showed you how to how this how this tree start right <laughs> okay so and that happened in less than a year by the way yeah, less this than a year. This happened in less than a year. It got that big in less than a year. So, okay, yeah, that vibes. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the right tree here. as you see it. See, I mean the paper. <laughs> the paper is completely swallowed. And guess what? This, look, look how <laughs> huge it become. <laughs> this is a phenomenon. Yo. This is something they could have easily science need to Yo. study because look. How you explain shit like this? <laughs> How you explain shit like now you you still gonna find people that man that because you only gonna say oh man I can't you that you don't see this on the open. <laughs> nah, Show me where you can't go in Haiti right now and, and take a picture of these things showing easy. up. It's not easy to find. It really isn't. Like this is only the mystique. Is, only bro. the mystique gonna make himself reveal itself to you like that. Yeah. If now you, if you're so privileged if you, to get exactly. to see that, that now is, certain a lot of messages they yo. sent to you. If you don't understand, if you go and staring at it. It start giving you faces. Start yes. giving you. You start I've seeing seen image out of it. Okay. <laughs> So yeah. basically, this is the this is the gumboa in the Baron Criminal house. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, 
for that, you know. Ball Criminal so dope. He, he need his own shit. No, nah, nah, but again, we always told you. He is in his own he world. He got his own shit. He's don't, he don't, he don't work with people. He, just, he got his own shit. Yeah. So, I'm just taking it back to showing you how it started. This is how it started from the beginning. How it okay? started? You see? How, how it started? Right? You see how, that? how it started? How it going? You see how small it was? Look right. at the paper. You see how far, how back it down the paper big, was? Right, it grew. And you yeah. see how it completely swallowed the paper down the line. Jeez. See? This is how big it becomes. This is how it swallowed the paper. And to whoa, cut the story whoa. short, that work and that whoa, petition whoa, for that whoa. person, I don't even need to explain the rest for you. Okay? It was Immaculate, deep. like, miracles. Okay? Turn around in their and life. one of them was, yeah. a, was a woman that couldn't have kids. Guess what? He had twins after yeah, that. Yeah, she ended up having okay? twins. So, Basically, no one can tell me about this lifestyle. No one's gonna tell me and outplay me and out take me out of this journey. Tell me, no, I've seen true miracles and I've seen things that I couldn't explain the power until you are involved. Theory. Okay, so this the is what the girl is all about. Yeah, so anyway, we okay? just wanted to share that with y'all because listen, listen. It is a privilege to serve. That's all I can really say. I always say it's an honor to serve. It is an honor to have been chosen to deal with the path and then to also be able to share it the way that I and Brother Hebrew have been sharing it with you guys on our channel, on this channel for years now. Um, we have a playlist section, so anybody that just needs to look at strictly things dealing with the law, you will find that video when I was sitting next to it talking about explaining it when we had the Kai before ceremony, okay? Um, and that was years ago. But again, we developed a playlist where it's just Loa only. La Sirene, Mama Brigitte, Met Cafu, Papa Legba, and all of the ones that I've done thus far. There's more to come, yes. There's so many more to come. There's so many more of them to talk about. But um, for the most part, you can get a boatload of information. Gun Ezili and, you know, and all that from there. So, um, yeah. If you are new to the channel or you didn't know, we've been rocking real long, not just doing Scream Lab Fry. This is just an add-on to what it is we've been educating with over yeah, the years. You know, we, we got to know what's going channel. on. So I just want you to know, if you go to the playlist section of our channel, there is different sectors. Okay, Voodoo for the Beginners, Inheritance Walkers Chosen, a really big video that a lot of people love. The Science of the Crossroads of Dealing with Papa Legba. I mean, there's so much information if you really are serious about this journey for yourself and want to discover things from, I would say more so, a rather raw point of view. Because we don't sugarcoat over here. There's no trying to create a persona. We've seen things. We've shared things. We've showed the proof. We've showed the evidence. We've given as much as we could have given. Because there are certain things they do not like us to put online, and we don't because of it. But for the most part, the things we were able to... Brother Hero has done an immaculate job of using his video and editing and all of the talents that he is with spirit alongside him to bring you guys all of these gifts. So please utilize, utilize them, share them, and make the best of them because they really are treasures. You know, I know tomorrow the world ends. We did our job as much as we could, and there's so much more to go. Don't get me wrong. There's so much more. This is like tip of the iceberg to what it is we envision uh, for indigenous voodoo and our tribe. You know what I mean? And um, those that are coming in every day into the light of knowing themselves and going to the sacred journey of um, the original people here of this land. Okay? The real FBAs. <laughs> the real founders. Okay? The indigenous founders. All right? Uh, which is us. Okay? The melanin beautiful people of this planet. So... Uh, with that said, we, we're going to move forward, but Gumbo, again, very sacred energy. You can go to www.thevoodoodiva.com right now, go into store, sign up, become a part of Sevis. A candle will be lit in your name. We're going to do a prayer slash ritual night. It will be followed with, with after. Ritual, listen, and if anybody, you, if, if you, you don't know about ritual last, night, if you was on the last prayer slash ritual night with Ezmi Dunto Obufiga, please let them know what time it is. I literally went into this trance having to do this work. It was beautiful. It, it knocked me out for the next two, three days flat just doing that. But it was freaking amazing. And the kind of energy that was shared that night was so sacred. If you were there in that circle that night, if you know, 
No, it was deep. Retro Night. He was definitely you don't want to building. miss that. Oh, who was definitely in the build, and we're going to continue on again with Gumbwa. Healing, protection, getting in alignment. This is still our beginning of the, the new year. The, so. the, the point, what, what we're doing with this Gumbwa here is to get your broadcast going, okay? You you need a lot of shit into your life. Baby. You There's a lot you Hello. want. There's a lot you want to ask the universe, but it's not penetrating out there. This is you the satellite. The, the roof. Okay? You the need foundation. that broadcasting to send it for you. So the this source, is your baby. time <laughs> to send this signal out there for you. And this is what this this service is about. Yep. Send your signal to the other side. Okay? Uh, Get your voice heard on the other side. There's a lot going on in your world, a lot going on in your life. You need to echo that to the other side. And this is what the service is about. Let give Gumboa our message. Let's let Gumboa know what we're going through. And he's going to send it out there for us. Go okay? down and up at the same time. Because, right, right, the roots are down in the earth, right? So let it As above, echo, so, so below. below right? So you know. 